Poe shows the square bottle too. So, and, and, and I think we kind of ended up showing in the in the article that this was maybe a little bit more of their French style, right? And that's because you don't see this particular profile on British style planes, right? He, he shows the square ones too. Um, uh, what I decided to do here was add a finial that's more British style, okay? Right, and so that would kind of give you if you if you're trying to match maybe some of your anti yeah. British style planes, it would give you the same feel. Where Rubo, he shows uh, this profile for the finial. Uh, even on the square body, uh, he even shows a uh, finial that's turned out the side, so it actually extends out of the side of the body. Um, he probably put the profile more on some of his tools that would be heavy users, like your uh, rebate planes, the tongue and groove, um, some ones that would probably, you know, he's like, I'm going to have this in my hand a lot, I'm going to use a lot of heavy use, I want, I want to get a good grip on it. So they probably take the time to maybe cut out the toe, that's what it appears okay. like. Yep. For some of these other ones, um, maybe it would be a custom profile they might only use on a particular set of, uh, what, you know, production run, right. Right. a small run of right. And then they might decide, I'm not going to take the time to cut out the profile. So, but either one of them work. So after Just working one. with these for a little while, have you found um, a, a difference in working with this style over the ones that we're more used to, the, the more British style? Yeah. Um, well, what I what I just just my little bit of experience using these, I think they function. If you once you get them tuned up, they function just as well. Okay. I really don't think there's any disadvantage. Though, whenever you look at it from the perspective of producing a lot of tools, this is going to use more wood. Oh. Because you have you have to have more have mass to, more, okay, to offset the stresses that this induces when you are okay. So you think from the perspective of um, producing a lot of planes, like first of all, in England they had more of an establishment um, uh, of woodworking where, where they had professional plane makers, where the continental makers, they were more accustomed apparently to having to make their own plane if they needed it. Right. So, so that's why they approached it with the simple tools. Simple tools, of yeah. Where when the British, they were more specialized and they had professional plane makers. They had specialized tools that allowed them to get the best yield from the wood. Uh, materials were more valuable than labor in a lot of ways. Right. Yeah. So one of the things, if you notice on the British style, they had a rebate cut here, right? And yes. then the grip was over here. So actually, on the uh, larger planes, that rebate material would become your wedge material. So it wasn't wasted, right? And then um, it allowed them to use a narrower plane because it had support. It wasn't open on the side. It wasn't as uh, uh, susceptible to warping. Uh, so because of that, yeah, you can use less material. It, it just seems to be all kind of based around, we're doing this professionally, we can make customized tools and make them in a production way, same material, all right. sort of stuff. But that makes it a lot more difficult. You know, at least Lee Nielsen makes the professional style tool. <laughs> but learning how to use them, you know, overcome that hurdle of learning how to use the tool, uh, the floats, how to sharpen them, and then drill the hole and all that mess. It's a lot more work. But I don't, I, I don't think these tools are really inferior, you know, if you tune them up. They're a little bit less sophisticated, you know, in, the, in their function. 